Hello, my name is Basil Hamden, City of Fort Collins Utilities. Today we're going to talk about the rain gardens here at Library Park and uh, we're going to try to explain how they work as well as what kind of environmental services they provide. The diagonal that the rain garden sits on here, or now that we call it Annie's Walk, it was the place more than a hundred years ago. To see and be seen, people would drive their carriages up and down this drive. This used to be a natural area where water would collect and infiltrate and filter itself. We came in, we paved the city, and we changed the nature of our runoff. Now we have water that doesn't have anywhere to infiltrate. We had an issue here in this parking lot. When we would have rainstorms, water would collect in this low spot. It had nowhere to go, and it, it would ice up at night. So this was creating a safety hazard. So the idea of a rain garden is a collection point that collects the pollution-laden runoff that comes off from the sediment that has built up. It collects the heavy sediment in a trap. The rain garden acts as a runoff filtering system. Soluble contaminants can be leached out by the soil. We're trying to recreate that natural system that existed pre-development. It's kind of built like a, a cake. There's a sand layer, that's the filtering media, and then the bottom layer is a gravel reservoir that holds the water. Those two have an underground pipe that connects them so that if this one is taking more water, some of the water can enter the one further north and allows it to infiltrate or to feed the plants. This project is a great example of what we can do when you take your normal high water demand landscape and transforming into something that's got more colors, more textures. What you've got here is some rutabecchia and then a wonderful new plant called Blonde Ambition. They're very native to the area of Colorado, so they can support our kind of tough landscape lifestyle that they're gonna see. They're gonna be okay with high sun, okay with some little water. We have lower poppy mallow. We have dwarf sumac, which will be burgundy red in the fall. Woods roads. We're creating quite a bit of pollinators to encourage a whole bunch of wildlife. There are alternatives to the common heavy demand grass landscapes that we most commonly see. Another little known benefit of these rain gardens is that they act as evaporative coolers. As this water is stored in the basins, starts to evaporate, they provide a cooling effect to the surrounding buildings and reduces the energy demand on those buildings. So we will need to cool our buildings less. If this basin gets full with enough rainwater, then it dumps out into the grass field behind me and basically supports all this landscape with the natural rain that comes down. I get a lot of satisfaction from working with the, all these different departments. It's what the city does best to come up with one project that will address several goals of the city. Nature is interdependent and we are all trying to work with it harmoniously. A rain garden is a celebration of what Mother Nature gives us naturally. And that's what this design did so well. We were able to utilize rainwater runoff as the invaluable asset that it is.